what a great day that this is and what an honor it is to be here to welcome each of you to this very significant day in the lives of Bailey and Marshall. Thank you for being here. Who gives Bailey to be married to Marshall? Her mother and I. <laughs> The very first wedding is recorded in the Bible in Genesis chapter 2, when God saw it was not good for the man to be alone. This day and the significance of this day is not the idea of man. It's not man's idea to organize humanity. It's God's idea. There's no way to discuss marriage, to talk during a wedding, or to say anything about marriage and to simply make this time all about a worship of who God is. It's in this relationship found in Genesis 2 that God gave the very first couple a taste of the gospel, the redemption for mankind, as marriage is a beautiful foretaste of the mystical union that exists between Christ and His bride, the church. Everybody that comes to the marriage altar, this place right here, longs to have a phenomenal marriage. On this special day, as you two begin this incredible adventure, I want to look at some foundational qualities that are going to help your marriage be extraordinary and stand the test of time. These are words that you probably have read before or are familiar, but let's read the richness of this found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. It says, Love is patient, love is kind, Love does not envy, it is not boastful, it's not conceited, it does not act improperly, it is not selfish, it is not provoked. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. It finds no joy and unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, endures all, everything. Love never ends. Love never gives up. It is a love that can endure illnesses, problems, losses, job changes, every type of disappointment you can think of. It is a love that keeps on keeping on. It's a love that is not resentful. It's not short-lived. It's not short-tempered. It persists. It perseveres. It's solid. This love is going to endure. Now, as both of you have come to know, you cannot be satisfied by anything other than God and a relationship with Him who makes all things possible through Christ. You both proclaim Christ as your Lord and Savior. Your marriage will grow stronger, last longer, as you both personally grow in your faith, devotion, and understanding humility toward God. I think everybody can agree, you all look absolutely outstanding today. <laughs> So what an amazing adventure that you all have been on since high school. About seven years ago, you kind of noticed each other in a new way and started dating. It's amazing that your families love each other the way that they do. That is an incredible, incredible blessing. And I believe you all say that your families also get together every so often. That's fantastic. What a great foundation that that is. Now, it's been said that beautiful people make beautiful marriages. I think everybody here can agree that Jesus is the most beautiful person that has ever physically walked this earth. So your best shot at having a beautiful and epic marriage is that both of you all can make it your primary objective to be like Christ. This pursuit of Him will be the difference to a phenomenal marriage. Now, Bailey, I'll always know that today as you become Bailey Gray, you are first and foremost a child of the living God. Your identity, your worth, your purpose is always to found, be found completely in who Christ says you are. Be captivated and awed by His love for you. And let that shape the woman you are and the wife that you're going to become. Marshall, I'm challenging you today to continue the path of pursuing Christ and be the spiritual head of the gray household of faith. Love Bailey as Christ loved the church. Show her every chance you get that she's loved and that she's cherished by you. 
You know, Jesus did not just sit in heaven having feelings toward us. He acted on it. He held nothing back for his bride, the church. You do the same for Bailey, your new bride. Pursue who Christ is. Be like him. Be overwhelmed by his love for you and become the man of God that will lead this brand new family very well. Now, if we were people that were faithful by nature, vows would not be necessary. But because we're neither inherently faithful nor honest, it's important that we stand up here and declare our commitment to each other before God and before everybody here. And I want you to look at these faces that have come today to support you, to stand with you. These faces, okay, are witnesses and will be supportive of you all moving forward. Okay, you've taken the time to write your vows. So I'll give each of you this. Marshall, I want you to lead out in declaring your vows to Bailey first. <clears throat> Bailey, I love you. And I know that this love is from God. <sighs> because of this, I want to be your husband so that we might serve Christ together through all of the uncertainties and trials of the present and future. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to love you without condition and without reservation. I promise to guide and protect you as Christ does his church, as long as we both shall live. I will try always, with God's help, to show you his love, for I know that in his sight we will both be, we will both be seen as one. In the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, I do promise. Amen. Okay, Bailey. It's your turn. Thank you. Marshall, I take you to be my husband. With deepest joy, I come into new life with you. As you have pledged to me your life, so I too happily give you my life. As is the church in her relationship to Christ, so I will be to you. I will live first unto our God and then unto you, loving you, caring for you, and honoring you. God has prepared me for you, and so I will ever strengthen, help, comfort, and encourage you. Therefore, throughout life, no matter what may be ahead of us, I pledge to you my life as a faithful wife. In the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, I do so promise. Amen. Now, rings can carry all types of significance or messages. They carry also, uh, they're symbolic of life events. As children, maybe we wore simple rings, plastic rings. Then we maybe wore high school rings and then college rings. Premier athletes wear rings to show the world that they're champions. Today, you are giving and receiving the most elite of all symbols of life events and of any human relationship, the wedding ring. As you give and receive this ring, this symbol that may it always serve as a reminder of your love and devotion to each other and God that's being made today in front, in front of family and friends. Okay, Marshall, if you'll take the ring, lead out and place the ring on Bailey's finger and repeat these words of love and commitment after me. I, Marshall, I, Marshall, give this ring to you, Bailey, give this ring to you, Bailey, as a symbol of the strength of our love, as a symbol of, our, of the strength of our love, and of our union, and of our union, from this time forward, from this time forward, we shall no longer be two apart, we shall no longer be two apart, rather we are one in Christ, rather we are one in Christ, I make this vow in the name of Jesus, amen, I make this vow in the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, Bailey, you can take Marshall's ring, place it on his finger, and repeat these words of love and commitment after me. I, Bailey, I, Bailey, give this ring to you, Marshall, give this ring to you, Marshall, as a symbol of the strength of our love, as a symbol of the strength of our love, and of our union, and of our union. From this time forward, from this time forward, we shall no longer be two apart. We shall no longer be two apart. Rather, we are one in Christ. Rather, we are one in Christ. I make this vow in the name of Jesus. Amen. I make this vow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
நீங்கள் வந்து Let's have a prayer blessing for them. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear our prayer for Bailey and Marshall as they establish their home. Father, you've heard both their vows toward each other. May every promise spoken be secured by you. May their love increase for you and for each other. Amen. Amen. Well, Bailey and Marshall, you have received Jesus as your Lord. You are both committed to building a home centered on Him. You've pledged your faith in and love to each other. You've sealed these vows by the giving and receiving of rings. And now, looking to heaven for divine agreement, and in the presence of God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Marshall, you may now kiss your new bride.
privilege to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Marshall Gray. <laughs> 